Hello, kids. Welcome back to Smart Kids Learn with Oma. Today, we have a super fun and noisy adventure waiting for you. It's all about sound energy. We'll explore the wonderful world of sounds made by people, animals, musical instruments, and more. Are you ready to play, learn, and have fun? Let's jump right in. Question one. Sound energy is produced or made by dash. A, light, B, water, C, vibration. Correct? Sound energy is made when something vibrates. Vibration happens when something is hit, shaken, or moves back and forth. Try putting your fingers on your throat and say, ah, feel that buzz? That's vibration. Question two, how do we notice or detect sound energy? A, with our eyes, B, with our ears, C, with our hands. Correct. Our ears detect sound energy traveling through the air and send the message to our brain so we know what we're hearing. Question three. What do we call a sound that isn't nice to hear? A, music, B, noise, C, whisper. Correct. Noise is a loud, messy sound like honking or shouting. It's not fun to hear and can make it hard to think. Question four. Sound energy moves through the air as dash. A, sound blocks. B, sound colors. C, sound waves. Correct. Sound waves are invisible helpers that carry sound energy through the air all the way to our ears. Example, when you shout, your voice makes sound energy. The sound waves carry it to someone else's ears. So remember, sound energy is made by vibrations. Sound waves carry it, and our ears detect the sound. Did you know that people, animals, musical instruments, and even everyday objects like bells and clocks all make sound energy? That's right. So many things around us create sounds in their own special way. Let's identify some sounds made by human beings. Remember, human beings is just another way of saying people like you and me. Question five. Listen to this sound. What do you hear? But it just went, like, now, right? Oh, but it's got, I can go talk about something that's now. Who was it? A, a dog barking. B, a car honking. C, people talking. Correct. Those are people talking. Talking is one way we use sound to share our thoughts, tell stories, or just say, hello. Our voices make tiny vibrations in our throat. These vibrations create sound energy that travels through the air to reach other people. Question six. Which sound is made by a person? A, shouting. B, roaring. C, meowing. Correct. Shouting is a loud sound people make with their voices. It's saying something big and bold using sound energy. Question seven. Listen carefully. What sound do you hear? A, a goat bleeding. B, wind blowing. C, people clapping. Correct. People clapping. Clapping happens when we bring our hands together with a smack. It creates vibrations, and those vibrations make sound waves that travel through the air. Clapping is loud, full of energy, and super fun to hear, especially when you're cheering someone on. Question eight. Listen closely. What do you hear? A, a trumpet playing, B, someone whistling, C, a bell ringing. Correct. Whistling is a sound people make by blowing air through their lips. The air vibrates and creates a sweet, high sound. That's sound energy at work. 
Wow. You've heard so many human-made sounds. Can you name two sounds made by people? Awesome answers. People make sounds by talking, clapping, shouting, and whistling, all using vibrations and energy. Great job listening. Next, we'll explore the amazing sounds animals make. Get those ears ready. Listen closely to each sound and pick the right animal that made it. Question nine. What sound do you hear? A, a cat meowing. B, a dog barking. C, a clock ticking. Correct. It's a dog barking. That's how dogs talk. They use it to say, hello, watch out, or I'm excited. Their throats vibrate to make the sound energy we hear. Question 10. Which of these sounds is made by an animal? A, dinging, B, sneezing, C, roaring. Correct. That's a roar. It is a big, loud blast of sound energy made by lions, tigers, and some other wild animals. It's their way of saying, I'm strong, or stay away. <laughs> Question 11. What animal makes this sound? <laughs> a, a dog, B, a goat, C, a bee. Correct. That's a goat bleeding. Goats and sheep bleat when they're hungry, calling out, or looking for friends. It's their way of using sound energy to send a message. Question 12. What sound do you hear? <coughs> a, a duck quacking. B, a cow mooing. C, a hen clucking. Correct. It's a duck quacking. A duck makes a sound called a quack. That's its special way of talking to other ducks or saying, here I am, quack, quack. Question 13. What sound do you hear now? A, a sheep bleeding. B, an owl hooting. C, a rooster crowing. Correct. It's a rooster crowing. A rooster crows, especially in the morning. Cock-a-doodle-doo. It's using sound energy to wake everyone up or show who's boss. Beautiful listening, sound experts. You did an amazing job identifying those animal sounds. I'm so proud of you. Now let's see what you remember. Can you name two animals and the sounds they make? Awesome answers. You really know your animal sounds. Are you ready for another super fun challenge? Let's explore the amazing sounds made by musical instruments. These awesome tools help us create music, rhythm, and sound energy that makes us want to dance. Listen carefully and see if you can pick the right instrument for each sound. Question 14. What sound do you hear? A, the thump of a bongo. B, the jingling of a tambourine. C, the twang of a guitar. Correct. That's the twang of a guitar. When you strum a guitar string, it vibrates. And those vibrations create sound energy that travels through the air to your ears. And your brain says, hey, that's a guitar. Pretty awesome, right? Question 15. What sound do you hear? A, the whistle of a flute. B, the beat of a drum. C, the ding of a xylophone. Correct. It's the whistle of a flute. A flute whistles when you blow air into it, and the air vibrates inside to create sound. Question 16. What musical instrument makes this sound?
A, a banjo, B, a violin, C, a cymbal. Correct. It's the clash of cymbals. Cymbals make a loud crash when they hit. The strong vibrations create lots of sound energy. Question 17. What sound do you hear? A, the beat of a drum. B, the honk of a saxophone. C, the buzz of a trumpet. Correct. That's the beat of a drum. When you hit a drum, the top vibrates and creates a beat. That beat travels through the air as sound energy. Question 18. What sound do you hear? A, the whistle of a flute. B, the buzz of a trumpet. C, the tinkle of a piano. Correct. That's the buzz of a trumpet. A trumpet buzzes when your lips vibrate against the mouthpiece. That buzzing travels through the trumpet and becomes sound energy. Get ready. This time, we're exploring sounds made by other instruments all around us that create sound energy. You hear them at home, in school, and even on the street. Put on your listening ears, sound explorers. Let's discover the sounds of everyday instruments. Question 19. What sound do you hear? A, a dog barking. B, a frog croaking. C, a bell jingling. Correct. When a bell jingles, it shakes and vibrates. Those vibrations make sound energy that travels through the air. Question 20. What sound do you hear? A, a bird chirping. B, a clock ticking. C, a lion roaring. Correct. A clock makes ticking sounds, well, because tiny parts inside move and click together. Each tiny tick creates sound energy we can hear. Tick tock, tick tock. Question 21. What sound do you hear? A, a car engine whirring. B, a guitar twanging. C, a duck quacking. Correct. When a car starts, parts of the engine spin and vibrate. These vibrations create sound energy. That's the whirring noise you hear. Question 22. What sound do you hear? A, a cow mooing. B, a goat bleeding. C, a phone ringing. Correct. When a phone rings, a small speaker inside vibrates. This creates sound energy, which sound waves carry through the air to your ears. Great job, smart kids. You learned all about sound energy and had so much fun listening and learning. Thanks for playing and learning with Oma. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. For more fun learning with Smart Kids Learn with Oma. See you next time. Bye.